Hi everyone, today I am in sunny Camden. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little video on Camden and see what this little town's all about. One of my old, this is definitely one of my favorite stomping grounds. One thing about Camden is when you're in Camden, you know you're in Camden, unlike a lot of boroughs where you could be actually anywhere in London. But this little town is absolutely fantastic, full of its vibrant and electric music, live music, street food, um, it's markets, it's canal as well. Uh, you've got the Camden Brewery. So yeah, there's so much going on in Camden and really looking forward to this one. If it does get a little bit slurry towards the end, uh, I'll make my apologies now because I will be having a few drinks on the way as it would be rude not to, especially as I am in Camden. So anyway, this fantastic little electric town, let's see what it has to offer. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. So great to be here, Camden Town, heading into from Chalk Farm Station. As you can see, the lovely Chalk Farm Station, famous for, I don't really know what, or why it's called Chalk Farm, Haverlock Hill. Um, I don't know, if you do any idea on why it's called Chalk Farm, uh, leave a comment below. Coming up on the right hand side, we have the famous Roundhouse. Now Camden's, um, been around since the 1800s, um, named after Charles Pratt for some reason or other, because I don't see the resemblance between Charles Frat Pratt and Camden. But anyway, it did come to life in the mid 70s where we had loads of punk bands playing in here on the right hand side, the Roundhouse very famous in the 70s for bands like Susie and the Banjis, Sid Vicious and the Sid Vicious and the Sex Pistols, the Stranglers, the Clash, yep, UK subs. They all played here and this was a vibrant place to be in the in the mid 70s. Uh, really happening and pretty much put Camden on the map as far as a live music venue. Um, here we've got Joe's on the left hand side, another fantastic little boozer, again um, open, one of the latest opening bars in Camden, so if you're in the town centre and uh, you want to stay and have a drink later, it's probably one of the places to visit before everywhere closes. Little food stalls, little food, food shops, food restaurants, obviously the Covid has put an end to eating inside these places but you can still sit outside and today's a nice day so yeah fair play good luck to the restauranters bars and anyone else who has to have customers outside as opposed to being inside um yeah hope you make a bit of money today because you deserve it i feel sorry for all these businesses closing down and not being able to trade you know all because of some stupid little virus Funny how the world's a changing place, isn't it? So on the right hand side here coming up, we have got the famous Camden Market. Coming up to a traffic light, I better make sure it's green before I cross, otherwise uh, you're gonna have a lot of footage of tarmac rolling around, which we don't really want. We've got the spiritual bar just up here on the right hand side. Lovely little bar, I've been in there a couple of times and they've got some fantastic live music venues in there, some live bands playing in there. A um, bit off the cuff, normally solo artists and small bands, but bands off the beaten track, so to speak, and they do some fantastic little gigs in there. Yeah, the spiritual bar. So lots of lovely little shops here. Right hand side here we've got the Lock Tavern, another famous drinking hole. And 
And so as we get off the beaten track, to our right hand side here, we have Camden Market. So let's go and have a little look and see what this is all about. Now Camden was also the, um, is where Amy Winehouse used to live, obviously, with her fantastic music, sadly missed. So there are some um, memorabilia statues and uh, certain things for uh, Amy Winehouse, God bless her. Anyway, here we are, Camden Market, as we enter this uh, little Aladdin's cave of food vendors, as you can see here, waffles, fish and chips, funky chips, so yeah, loads of little food places, also little trinket stalls where you can buy your handmade jewellery and um, get your hair cut as well, how about that? So there you have it, Camden Town, full of fantastic, vibrant little food places. Um, something new happening all the time in Camden. I was here about six months ago and a lot of these shops have changed over since. And, oh yeah, famous Amy Winehouse statue memorabilia for her craft and beer so this is the outside of the actual central part of Camden Market um, with all its little food vendors restaurants hands and hands and grelsch I guess that's a Swedish type style shop um, it's all Greek to me, a Greek restaurant, marvellous. So this is the main shopping area for Camden Market, a lot of clothes shops. They say if a fashion's going to start off, it's going to start off in Camden. Look at this fantastic little carpet shop. You can um, come in here and get your rugs and uh, anything else you want. A little Arabic robe there if you want one as well. Beautiful. Moroccan style Arabic. Yeah, great. Nice collection of bags as well. Just checking out this little Thai place. They've got some fantastic little food here. Might come back for dinner later on. Absolutely fantastic. 
some magic falafel. If you like your falafel, totally vegetarian. And I think, try a little bit of this. Lovely, thank you very much. Let's get a picture of that. Marvellous. All different types of little food stalls here. So fantastic. From crepes, burgers, Italian, um, a lot of Chinese, chin chin dessert menu. Again, vibrant Camden. You don't know what you're gonna find here. Full of lovely little surprises. Little fooderies, little food places. Let's head into the West Yard again little street food section um, West End Yard whoops where children's wear literally come up here basically to get that overall shot of Camden Street Food. <laughs> there you have it. Camden Piano Restoration. I'm sure that was busy in its time when this was more of a live music venue seems to have died off a little bit unfortunately but it's still sort of happening comes and goes what's this space basically so yes yeah, Camden Street food putting down towards the canal more street food healthy Indian Lulu's Some Dutch food we've already been this one And across the canal, one of my favourite haunts, the Ice Wharf, uh, with the spoons on the canal. And what more could you ask for? Look at that canal boat coming in as we speak. What a little treat that is, eh? So yeah, loads of fantastic little stalls, food stalls here in Camden Market, Camden Town. Street vendors, uh, street food from Pad Thai to Colombian to anything you want pretty much. Uh, barbecue, steaks, and look at that, right on the canal. So you can have your lovely uh, street food whilst you're sitting by the canal. How fantastic is that? Lovely view, lovely food. What more can you ask for? This is Camden Town. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, 
if you'd like to see some more of these videos, uh, uh, the more likes I get, the more I'll go around London making videos on strange places, strange food and strange people, and including myself, <laughs> no exception. So heading back into Camden High Street, as you can see, Camden Lock up there, the famous Camden Bridge. So Camden High Street, buzzing little place, this is where a lot of it's all happening. At night time this place changes, all the little shops close and it becomes a bit more of a party area. <laughs> little market stalls. trinkets, little souvenirs, anything you want. Over here on the left hand side we have the elephant's head. Unfortunately due to lockdown closed. Uh, fantastic little venue um, when it does open up again. If it does open up again you just never know with, care with, with what's happening at the moment. But in the hope that it will open up again, uh, the elephant's head, yeah, definitely a place to, a place to go you like your uh, 60s 70s music and basically a very very vibrant little bar I've always found it's good to go in there when you've had a few um, <laughs> but yeah fantastic music fantastic people in there and you got Inverse Street um, market doesn't seem to be a lot going on down there let's go and have a look never know Camden's full of lovely little surprises just when you thought just when you thought you've seen it all something else jumps out on you and yeah nothing ventured nothing gained I guess isn't it let's go and have a little wander and see if there's any little beer bars or something we could get a drink some good music playing and Fantastic vibe. Oh, looks like some people got some beers here. Sitting down, chilling out. How much are they going to charge me? Probably about £10 for a bottle of beer. Little tapas bar, barbecue and cocktails. Little reggae bar. Barbecue and cocktails. Eight in what? Out on the floor records. You want to get your vinyl? This is the place to come, I guess. Made in Brazil. One touch. Do you? Can I have a? Have you got any um? What what Brazilian beers have you got? We have a Brahma. I'll have a Brahma. Can I have would a Brahma? Like, yeah, Where do I have to sit? Out here. What would you like to? I'm going to sit somewhere out here. So okay, thank you very much. So here I am, sunny Camden, uh, in a little Brazilian bar, and I've just ordered myself my first Brahma for the day. Thank you very much. Obrigado. Obrigado. So to Brazil, uh, Brahma. Look at that, Brahma in Camden Town in a little Brazilian bar plastic cup it is what it is it's gone 12 o'clock and uh, it's a lovely day for it so first of the day cheers cheers to Camden as well let's see how this day progresses And if you're into your comics, uh, Mega City Comics in Camden Town. 
yeah collection of comics there I suppose you can bring your old comics in and sell them and buy some new ones if you're into your comics fantastic and moving on further down the mixer Camden yeah. why not guess you grab a seat and wait to get served So sitting outside Camden Town, good mix of pub. Um, this place normally is vibrant, live bands playing, all that kind of thing. It's COVID lockdown, unfortunately, so nothing happening. But it doesn't stop you having a nice bike, does it? Plastic cups. Plastic cups, not really my thing, but um, yeah, got a bank best of a, best of a bad situation. A drink's a drink, and it doesn't matter what comes in. I've drink, drunk out of a horn in Africa before. So, yeah, plastic cup, fair play. At least, do you know what? They need to change them to paper cups, so. And believe it or not, that's coming soon, because I went in this supermarket the other day. I won't mention what kind of supermarket it was, but I went to the supermarket this day, and uh, they gave me a paper bag. And I'm used to the Tesco's and Sainsbury's plastic bags you get and everything like that. And I thought, do you know what, that doesn't feel very safe and there's a possibility it's going to collapse. But I was about to complain and I thought, do you know what, no, that's right. It's recyclable, you can burn it, you can throw it away. There's nothing worse than sitting on a paradise beach and seeing plastic bags being washed up and all that kind of, plastic bottles and plastic cups and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, my point of view is, sooner we can get rid of plastic, the better. So if you do get served your beer in a, in a paper cup or your takeaway, a lot of takeaways now are not in those plastic little containers anymore, they're in, in like a sort of paper container uh, with a probably a plastic lining. But a little bit of plastic doesn't go amiss. Because obviously if you had, uh, had a liquidy sort of meal in a paper container, it would get a bit messy I think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, plastic cups I think they're going to be a thing of the past soon. I think soon you're going to be served in paper cups, uh, which isn't a bad thing, you know? Let's, let's all look after the world, and plastic is one of the worst things in the world. It's one of the biggest, you know, uh, destroyers of the earth. Uh, you go to places and see plastic cups. It, it, it's just not biodegradable. They just, they, they take years to, um, to break down and disappear. Not only that, it's what the chemicals inside them does to the environment and also the animals you know uh, I'm not going to go on about it because I'm not a, a Greenpeace um, veteran or anything like that oh, I wouldn't mind joining Greenpeace actually I think they're a good good setup but I'm, I'm just basically talking about plastic and saying like the sooner we can get rid of plastic the better I think because I know it's useful I know it's handy I know it's really good but unfortunately what it does to the environment it ain't really it ain't worth it you know let's get rid of it all and uh, sit on the beach and stop seeing these plastic bags washing up plastic bottles plastic cups and plastic things that people just chuck away um, I mean if people were a little bit more considerate and used a bin or something like that and you could recycle the plastic that'd be fair enough you could say yeah okay well let's carry on with it but they don't they just chuck it in the floor or chuck it on the beach I mean on a beautiful beach seeing a plastic bag it's just with plastic bottles or plastic whatever um, yeah does my head in that's enough of that here's to the Here's to the good mixer in Camden, and what a lovely day I'm having. Camden Town, I'll tell you what, it's a lovely spot, and I always feel comfortable in Camden Town. It's one of them places you just never get tired of visiting. So yeah, Camden Town, what a fantastic day. Another one. So cold. Shouldn't be this cold. So, I mean, this time last year. Camden we Market. Um, we've had a few drinks at the Good Mixer. And this lovely lady, what's your name? Jess. Yeah, everybody's good. Jess is. Uh, right. yeah. This is what Camden's all about. Live music, keep live music real. And she's going to play a tune for us. A couple of tunes. Fantastic. Wow.
for weddings. Available for weddings, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> So heading down towards the Camden Lock. Okay, so we're in Camden and uh, we met some people down here having a drink. Yeah, yeah. Chilling out. And what are you doing? She's coming down from uh, Liverpool, so I thought I'd take her down to the more trendy areas. <laughs> 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 nice to meet you guys, by the way. I'm Chess Travels, and this is like a video for Camden, and we're trying to figure out why Camden is so popular. And at the moment, with the COVID and everything else, we all got drinking outside, so we're suffering with cold and everything. But Camden is a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Do you come here often? Not anywhere near as much as I probably should. Yeah. I really love sitting by the canal area. And it's beautiful here. And that's what makes it a nice place. The live music that ain't happening at the moment. Yeah, sadly, sadly. So, so, so it's coming. So whereabouts are you guys from? East, East London, near okay. Epic Sand. Okay, and the Camden's got its own little character in it. Yes. yes. You know when you're in Camden. Yeah, I you mean, see all the, all the buildings. Of all the boroughs in London, you know, if you land in Camden, you know you're in yeah, Camden. Yeah, yeah. And we're still waiting for it to happen, isn't it? With the COVID and everything going on, we can't really do a lot at the moment. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. And nice to meet you guys, and thank you very much for being on my YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, I've got Chef Travels. Um. Where do you recommend us to go? Yeah, well, at the moment, um, because of the lockdown, we can't really go anywhere. Yeah. So we just have to make the most of a bad situation, you know. Uh, there are a lot of places. The Elephant's Head opens up. I've just been down to the... Um, I don't remember the name of the place. I'm making a video of it. But uh, that's what a good place Camden is, yeah. you know. You, you, There's so many places. You just stumble around and everything. Um, for the moment, I think we're in the best place. I mean, you've got the, the Witherspoons across the road, which is the That's Ice Wharf. Um, street, but, um, yeah, anyway, unfortunately, because it's cold and everywhere, everyone's just leaving early and there's nothing to do. I fortunately met, I fortunately met up with some um, good musicians earlier on and played some music and everything, and that's what Camden's about, isn't it? Um, yeah, hey guys, you know what? Fantastic! It's, we we make the best of a best uh, make we make the best of a bad situation. Yes. And the fact that I'm making this video about Camden to say how good Camden is, yeah, really and that, you know we're just waiting for that moment where sunshine comes out and everyone goes out and have a good time, and we'll be back again, won't we? Eh? So brilliant! Thank Please, you very much. No Can I get your YouTube channel? You yeah, it? Chef Travels, all one word, Chef Travels. So Camden Town. Wow. What a fantastic time I've had. And what a beautiful place this is. Do you know what? It's not a lot I can say. Met some lovely people that I couldn't film. Um, some people that were like musicians and everything else like that. Brilliant time. I've had a fantastic day. Camden Town is actually brilliant. Um, totally recommended. I'm a bit pissed. Don't know. We're actually here with the BBC Three right now, sir. How are you doing? Well, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very, very good. How does it feel to be a criminal? I'm actually not a criminal. You're not. No, but I've I have been a criminal, but I'm not now. I guess doing something illegal. Like, did you know are you, are it's you illegal? A criminal? I actually am. And because what have you done? technically. I am a criminal because it's illegal to gamble in a library, which I did. It's illegal to handle cattle in public, for example. You know what I mean? So, well, at the end of the day, do you think criminal, criminalisation comes down to drugs and uh, the change of mind? I think it comes down to if you do something illegal. Can you do something when you're, when, when you're, when you're on amphetamines and things like that? Is that classed as like illegal? I think that's having a good time. Wrong TV. Yeah. What is your name? Zoe. What is your name? Zoe. What is your name? Zoe. 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 Zoe.
<laughs> How does it feel to be a criminal? Um, I, no, I actually feel great because I just gave a home some. So we, what are you on from? I'm from, we're from London, we're just filming okay. a video, yeah. So we've got guys from London here on a YouTube video and they're coming down making a video of me. Subscribe and to Batson. Subscribe to Batson and this guy's not a criminal really, he's yeah, just yeah, all yeah. acting and just a little joke. Just all the time fun. <laughs> and good to meet you guys, fantastic. Okay. Brilliant. Appreciate Thank you, man. Thank you very much. See you later. Cheers. So there you go, that's Canon for you. And uh, What's this for? Thing, What's this for by the way? This is for Chef Travels. Chef Travels, subscribe to Snowy Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so that's Camden for you. Um, totally bizarre. That's what it's all about. And I love it. And um, that's why I'm here. So Camden Town is absolutely a place to come. Come to, come to visit. This is Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington. I've had a really good night in Camden Town. Thank you very much and good night.